1326. Attention. Target anchor lost. No response from base. Traceback 2 is about to pass the event horizon and enter the black hole. We are stuck in this loop. This never-ending journey. Hello, Lincoln City. DPSC FM here to greet you on this early morning. Did you sleep well last night? Weather's nice today with winds at 5 km per hour. Certain areas have a higher metaflux index due to the deep space tunnel. Expect wanderers to appear more often. We would like to thank all the hunters in the city for allowing us to live a normal, peaceful life. Next, a detailed report for each district, areas that are at high risk of being attacked by wanderers. All medical personnel, please get ready. Today is going to be another busy day. We now have a message for all the new hunters who recently passed their exams. Now that your journey is about to begin, we want to express our deepest gratitude and wish you all the best as you face the challenges ahead. And that's all for today. But before we go, please enjoy this gift we received from Deep Space 14 years ago. Love and Deep Space. These electromagnetic signals have traversed time and space, a miracle of the ages. One day we will be able to evolve from our current limitations, transcend the boundaries of life, and reach the stars. At a certain moment in the future, we can pass through the deep space tunnel and discover the future awaiting us. 14 years ago, the deep space tunnel appeared above Lincoln. It led to anomalous geomagnetic storms and the creatures known as wanderers emerged. From such an event, the deep space hunter was born. Now society has returned to a sense of normalcy, but there are still wanderers lurking in the shadows. Here today with us are many seasoned we'll be assigned veterans to a squad, in the industry, which will determine our future. as well as rookies. Aren't you nervous? That but won't we change care the only outcome. about results. It's better to the stay end calm. justifies the means. Our goal as hunters is to extract the protocors from wanderers in hopes of destroying them once and for all. That being said, congratulations on passing the selection process. We are grateful for your hard work. We will now begin the ceremony and hand out badges to the new Deep Space Hunters. First candidate. That's you, isn't it? Hurry, get on stage! Hello, sir. Hmm. Place your hand here to confirm your personal info. Ah, Enhausen class. It's been a while since I've seen this evolve. You have a lot of potential for growth and might even acquire new abilities. I can see why Jenna picked you as soon as the rookie list was released to the public. It can't be detected? As usual. Sir, that's likely because a wanderer attacked me 14 years ago, and ever since then, my evil level hasn't been stable. Understood. That event did change many lives forever. You're not the first evolver whose level couldn't be detected. This isn't the only criteria we use when evaluating a deep space hunter. As long as you have the skills, this industry welcomes you with open arms. Congratulations, you are now a Deep Space Hunter. Thank you, sir. Rookies, this is Jenna speaking. I'm your unicorn's captain today. The fluctuations are stronger. I'm closer to the source. ...at this abandoned base for protocol research. I need everyone to split up and search the area. Eliminate any... Your evil's even better than the detector. Hi, I'm Tara. Remember me? I was standing next to you during the badge ceremony. Of course. We're lucky to be on the same squad. Oh, do you want to work together? Sure. The tarot reading I did yesterday told me that I would be super lucky today. Uh, look. Wanderers. They're here. The highest threat level here is only B, which matches the fluctuation we just felt. A fluctuation doesn't have a set value. Something's off. 
Why don't we split up and look around first, just to be safe? Sure. I'll go inside then. I'll scout the perimeter to see how far these fluctuations go. We'll regroup here once we're done. <sighs> be you careful. Too. There's clearly been a Metaflux explosion, but it doesn't match the Wanderer's threat level. Something's not right. What? Here for the mission? There are traces of Metaflux on him as if he was attacked. Hey! I should call for backup. Hunter's Association Support Center. Is there anything I can do? Quiet. Are you alright? I'm fine. But you... Fluctuations. Watch out. It activated its protofield. You're a hunter, right? Let's defeat it together. He can use the light evil, and he's strong. I haven't seen anyone like him among the rookies. This isn't it. That protocore could have given us useful info. Why did you crush it? Huh? Forget it. There's more to this than meets the eye. I need to investigate. Were you also assigned here? This place is more dangerous than it seems. We should get out of here and think about our next move. No, we can't. We became prey stuck in a trap the moment we walked into this warehouse. Come. You. How long have you been trapped here? Did anything unusual happen before the explosion? I was sleeping at the time. Seriously? In this place? There's nothing complicated going on, just a trick of the light. Wanderers and light... Nothing. They're luminivores. No movement, no fluctuations. Over here. Luminivores eat light, and your evil is... This can't be a coincidence. Is this a trap specifically for you? I'm just a normal hunter. You don't need to look too deeply into it. You might be someone's prey, but from another perspective... Isn't he just... bait? <laughs> what are you thinking about? If we can't escape, let's lure the Luminivores out and take them down in one fell swoop. You... Use your evil. Point of convergence is getting stronger. Looks like they took the bait. There are a lot of luminivores. If we don't take them out in one go, they'll respawn using the light. In that case, we'll just use my evil. Please forgive me. defeated all of them. This is the first time I've experienced an evil resonance this strong. The fluctuations are gone, and so are the Wanderers. Your plan actually worked. 
Yeah, but not even a single protocol was left behind. Uh, uh, they were accidentally blown up. The residual energy should be enough, right? So we're acquaintances now? I'm a new unicorn's recruit. And you? I'm Xavier. By the way, could you do me a favor? If anyone asks what happened, tell them that... Aside from the Wanderers, you saw nothing else, all right? Don't you think that makes you seem a little suspicious? I'm sorry. I'll explain why the next time we meet. I'm heading over to your location right now. I'm fine. Over here! That's my colleague. Where did he go? I lost your signal and couldn't contact you at all. These protocore fragments... You took down those wanderers by yourself? No. Actually, I... It's hard to explain, and I can't do it now. Well, what matters is that you're okay. We'll talk more once the mission's over, alright? Uh. Savior... How mysterious. Him being here surely couldn't have been a coincidence. By the way, did we get anything from the data we sent back to HQ? It was kind of scary now that I'm thinking about it. I'm glad you're okay. You're still in the mood to crack jokes? I had been trying to contact you for a while, and I was just about to try every method possible. Both scientific and mystical! Finally, we meet face-to-face, -face, Unicorns Recruits. I am relieved to see that everyone is returned in one piece. Your performance was recorded and uploaded to our database by the Hunter's Watch each one of you is wearing. Unicorns only chooses the best of the best. The squad will take that into consideration and assign you to the appropriate sector. In the foreseeable future, the difficulty of your assignments, nature of your work, and scope of your missions will correspond to your sector's role and responsibilities. The uncertainty and fear we need to be prepared to face is far greater than what we've seen today. This means we will need to have an open mind, remain flexible, and have trustworthy allies. As for today's mission, I have to say that it was executed very well. Thank you. Sector at 8am tomorrow. Sector, data analysis. Captain Andrew. Wow, data analysis. Yesterday's fortune was bright. Well, what does yours say? You're working directly under Jenna? Wow, can I visit you in the future whenever I want? two eyes, I can look at you and her at the same time, right? Well, that's it for today. Wanna grab a bite to eat? Just like that, the Wanderer was gone! Poof! Disappeared into thin air. After escorting me to a safe place by the road, she said, You're safe now. Go home. <sighs> That's what we call max level of security. So yes, as you can see, I became a hunter to follow in Captain Jenna's footsteps. I want to be as badass as she is. 
to be her equal and fight alongside her. Oh, I've just been rambling on. What about you? Why did you become a hunter? Looks like you're reminiscing about something from a long time ago. Yeah, I can see you're anxious, but also full of anticipation. This is a very important symbol for Lincoln City. Mr. Guidey welcomes you to Azure Square. Here, the past and future coexist. The old and new mingle together seamlessly. This is the charm of Lincoln, the city of innovation. Wow! Uh, it's so noisy, like a kid who's constantly shouting. Everyone, look over there. Tide Street is hosting a marine-themed exhibition. Follow me. Right. After all, we've experienced a real battle. Getting a good night's sleep is important. I live pretty far from here, so I should be heading home soon. <laughs> Goodbye! So, miss, I overheard your conversation. Are you a hunter on a mission? Everyone says hunters are super strong and you can do anything I ask, right? Right? Here's what I'll give you as a reward. A full set of Super Hunter AR cards. And it has a limited edition Hunter Lux. <laughs> Follow me! We're almost there. I need you to help me catch that little red fishy. Sure thing, but I can't promise I'll succeed. Is that okay with you? Lucas! Oh no, Can't she spotted us! Contact. Take this net and don't say anything about me hiring you. He ran away already. Unfortunate. This species of fish can only survive for a week on land. A tourist? The fish is gonna slip away, you know. Ta-da! The owner probably just wanted to throw in some fish to fit the theme. But this one, bright as a flame, is a real flamula from Lemurian legends. Flamula? I'm not very familiar with those myths or folklore. Oh, Hat Island is closed off because there have been reports of wanderers. You should stay away from that place for now. <sighs> that explains why I couldn't get a boat ticket. It's good that you were here to let me know. Otherwise, I really would have wasted my time. Oh, wait. Here's the fish you caught. I hope it'll survive longer with you. <sighs> if you like the sea, you should go to White Sand Bay. It's the most beautiful beach in all of... But he didn't even let me finish. Uh, darn it. All checkups are in the system, which sends out notifications. Dr. Zane can't forget them. You've known Dr. Zane for a while, right? I'll transfer your call over so you two can get started. Oxo Hospital, for a brighter future. Good job. You were 10 seconds away from being a no-show. Don't worry, we have 5 seconds left. 3... 2...
Congratulations, you weren't late. Is this impeccable timing a new evil ability of yours? Yvonne said you returned to Lincoln at 5 o'clock this morning and were back to work by 7. She tells you everything. You said it was a vacation, but you were actually in the Arctic to work on a secret project, right? Patients shouldn't be so nosy. Report. <sighs> Any changes recently? No. No? I've had one exam after another, so I pulled a few all-nighters. <laughs> Ignoring medical advice like it's nothing. I suppose you're just here to go through the motions. Sit over here, please. Huh? Listening. Right. This isn't the first day I had protocore fragments in my heart. Even Dr. Dean said I was perfectly fine. And it's been 14 years. If anything bad... Don't talk. But you should still breathe. looks aloof. He probably has the same expression on his face regardless of whom he's treating. A fast resting heart rate. What riled you up this time? Uh, you're just imagining things. Fine. I was really nervous, okay? But I'm always like this whenever I see a doctor. <laughs> Truly, your allergy is unique. So? Heart arrhythmia, premature ventricular contractions, heart murmurs. Really? Despite being aware of the risks, you still became a hunter. Make fun of me all you want, but you know why I did it. I wasn't mocking you. Lincoln has been the safest it's ever been under the watchful eye of our skilled hunter. Not necessarily. One day, our skilled Dr. Zane will find himself in a bit of a predicament. The hunter who saves you might just be me. If you wish to hold something over me, then I suggest you be careful while out in the field. I'd prefer not to see you be airlifted to the hospital via helicopter. I knew you'd still be awake. What are you up to? Your first day of hunting. Well? Oh, stop that. You won't fool me, Pipsqueak. Not even for a moment. I should be cruising along, but things wrapped up quite nicely and ended early. Are you actually worried about me? Come on, I know how important it is to you. Even if I was in a wheelchair, you'd push me there. Alright, it's been peaceful. The field within the tunnel is as stable as it can be. Very few wanderers, don't worry. Everything else is top secret. My lips are sealed. Yep, mysterious and spooky. Okay, I'll stop. It's late. You should go to bed now. Sweet dreams.
Watch, HOS 11-4. Metaflux detection system has been updated to the latest version. Guidance for each floor has been uploaded. Use of the Sleppin' Pod has been approved, and access to the VR Training Center has been granted. The system log shows you had less than four hours of sleep last night. The quality was also extremely poor. A special delivery. One drum reel. Stay, stay right there. This has the latest Kennel OS. It's fresh from the oven of our techies. The resolution is three times better than the previous version. Oh, I only use it for work. That's it. Look, here's the TSC security authentication code. It's beautiful. I mean, it looks dangerous. Just leave it to me. Nero, Andrew is looking for you. Let me remind you that data analytics is on the fifth floor. If you prefer to hide here for some peace and quiet, you might as well request a transfer. Call me captain like everyone else. Jenna works too. How's the paperwork? If there are any issues, you should speak up now. It's normal for us not to be here. We don't need to sit in HQ all the time if there's no mission. Relax. Yes, our job can be dangerous. But before any mission is assigned, Advanced Tech Labs considers the Hunter's evil, overall capabilities, and efficacy. Of course, while efficacy can be measured, people are another story. Outside of urgent missions, you're allowed to pick and choose. Don't worry, you won't be forced to resign from Alpha Team on your first day. Perfect. Advanced Tech Labs has a job for you. Hear them out first, then go take a look. Getting to that place will be tricky. I have a 270HM already parked by the Moveri Bridge for you.
You have that look on your face. What is it? Are you already tackling a difficult mission when not even two days have passed? Raymond? Someone invited me. Can your motorcycle do it? Both. Advent Navy says you're 13.5 kilometers away. I need to return to the hospital later. Let's not waste any more time. Adaptability is a virtue. I'm aware. <clears throat> Could the driver think of her passenger's safety for a moment, please? He's a former patient of mine who has a serious congenital heart disease. Nervous? If I said yes, would that make you feel better? I wasn't. It's just art. Don't overthink it, Miss Hunter. Is he still in his collection room? Yes, on the third floor. Dr. Zane, you've been here before, so please make yourself at home. Regarding the Wanderer inspection, Miss Hunter, do you need me to accompany you? I've invited you to my home several times before. You only visit when I'm not feeling well. Dr. Zane, I wonder if you see me as a patient or just a subject for observation. According to the OXO remote monitor, your vital sign data has improved. The equipment also determined your age to be far younger than what it actually is. Aren't you curious about why I haven't died yet? I'll admit I was for a time. However, it was nothing more than that. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
Your colleague praised you, saying there are things only the two of you can do. I'm very curious now. Xander Sciences will provide you with the best staff, the best lab, and even the best treatment. Dr. Zane, what you perceive as the limit of your talent is just another beginning in your career. When you reach the finish line, I'll be right there cheering for you. Listening in? Please don't put me on a pedestal. I'm just a normal doctor. I have no intention of straying from the path I've chosen. How long will you be able to last? Let's make this quick, shall we? Male, 39 years old. He collapsed from shock because a wanderer appeared five minutes ago. No external injuries. His heart rate is normal and his pupils react normally to light. The address is... Did something catch your eye? You were in a daze. The teacup didn't work, so I had no choice but to increase the dosage. What happened? Take care. Try not to forget the time of your next checkup. Thank you. a lot of metaflux to extract. It'll be a while before the analysis gives us any useful info. Already ahead of you. Sold from an art gallery called Flux Arts. It's owned by Thomas. He's a professional art broker. 
The painting's artist is Raphael. He's pretty famous, always on the news. Probably why you've heard of him before. Industry insiders say Raphael locks himself in his studio for half the year, then spends the rest of his time traveling the world for inspiration. As for his paintings, just last month, his art broke the record for highest selling price at Lizio Auctions. An artist of this caliber? Meeting him in person might be challenging. I'm sorry. Thomas is dealing with an emergency right now. If you're not in a hurry, he said you could walk around the exhibition as you wait. The day of ebbing. Every year there's a day when the tides go against the ocean currents, and using the night's countercurrent, creatures from the deep sea are washed ashore. Once the tides recede at dawn, they return home. As a result, everything they met that night turns into distant memories of the surface world. Some deep-sea creatures are obsessed with the world outside the ocean, desiring its warmth. They stubbornly wait for the sunrise before returning, all just for a sun they've never, ever seen before. Hey, I'm Raphael. This is my art exhibition. Really? Voice assistant? You know, your naming skills are kinda worrying. Just saying. I'm the embodiment of his inspiration and thoughts. More or less. Yeah, sure. If I know the answer, that is. The painting can't be properly displayed at the moment, so we're just going to use some fancy hologram tech. A dream. When I was a kid, I had dreamed I turned into a fish. I swam and swam and swam from the deep sea, seeking a place beyond the water's surface, only to end up in blood-red seawater. It was the first time I ever saw such a color. Who knows how many years I've spent trying to recreate it, but I never really could get that same shade of red. It was always a slightly different hue, you know? Sorry, miss.
I'm Raphael's art gallery manager, Thomas. So you're suggesting Raphael might have messed with his own painting? <sighs> Mr. Raymond, a renowned art collector famous for his discerning taste, graced Flux Arts with his presence last month. Despite the gallery being filled with better paintings, he was utterly smitten with that one. He needed to buy it. Had to nag Raphael before he finally agreed to sell it. During the process of arranging, displaying, and selling the painting, more than a dozen people have been in contact with it. No one mentioned anything about a wanderer. <laughs> what a nice compliment. Making people literally go crazy over artwork isn't something many artists can pull off these days. <clears throat> I wish. If Raphael cared about that stuff, my job would be a piece of cake. Wait until you meet him. You'll see what I mean. He did mention something a while back, said he often heard strange noises in the studio late at night. I thought he was trying to trick me. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, he's sick. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, a wanderer showed up. Could you do me a favor and check if there's actually a wanderer at his studio? I would love to see the tomfoolery he plans to do next. Oh, coral stones. Raphael uses them for his paint. Are you interested in them? Sure. Visit the giant white building over there on White Sand Bay. That's where he lives. His memory is non-existent, so the door is open. You can just walk right in. Could you tell him to hurry up on that painting he's working on? I already sold it to someone. He's here, right? energy traces behind this door. Who is it? The studio's closed. Wait, aren't you the hunter from before? You... <gasps> Move! Ugh. Ow, that really hurts. I didn't think you'd be that quick. I'm not sure if I should call you heartless or decisive. I really can't tell if it's destiny or bad karma for us to meet again after two days. Anyway, you're not here to check on the fish, are you? You know that I'm a hunter, right? I'm here to deal with the Wanderer problem. Oh? I had no idea there was something dangerous at the studio. Ah, wait. Now I remember. 
I did hear some weird noises while I was painting earlier. It was very annoying. Thomas sent you, huh? Hmm. A wanderer chewing on his canvas? Could be connected. So where are they? I'm not an animal that can use my ears to locate some prey. It's probably downstairs, upstairs, or somewhere else. Uh. In any case, wanderers are everywhere. Literally. I even heard there's one that's sort of like a lemon. Am I wrong? One time I dreamt about slimy rainbow-colored wanderers. The paint can't be mutating, lot. right? Unlike the Raphael in those magazine interviews. Um, is this what you use to make your paints? <sighs> Thomas let you have it? Other than rocks, do you use anything else that's weird? Well, nothing is weird if you can get color from it. <clears throat> Fine. Do mummy bandages count? Different refinement processes don't necessarily produce the same tint of brown, That's though. not what I meant. What else is there? <sighs> You've asked me so many questions. Yet you're not here to solve my issues, are you? What are you? I've only used this batch of coral stone pigment for one painting. So you knew about Raymond. His erratic behavior is related to you. What sort of twisted logic is this? And why are you only thinking about everyone else? I'm a victim too. Also, that coral stone is mine. Give it to me, now. <sighs> You're not going to tell me the truth, are you? If your art causes any more problems, it won't be just me next time. Really? A hunter can only be patient for three minutes? I wasn't done talking. Let me check first. I also would like to know if the problem here is the coral stone. It's hot! Illusions. Well, that explains why I started hearing things right after getting a paper cut. Uh, fluctuations. Do you have a lot of valuables here? Depends on who you ask. Answer me. Not really. Then you should hide. Now. Leave the Wanderer to me. Excuse me? This is my house. You should be the one hiding. Don't damage my treasures. The Metaflux is stronger. Is it because of Raphael's <sighs> blood? Looks like they're all A-OK. -okay. The Wanderer was nice enough not to harm them. I see this Coral Stone is imbued with some Metaflux. Where did you get it? You can't just buy Coral Stones from the market. I might have bartered with the Sardinian locals, or maybe... Your memory cannot be that bad. Want to check my collection log? You have a log? There are millions of colors. Some people even create samples of their own paint. If there's actually a problem with the source, how are you guys going to deal with it? Investigate. Might have to close off the area. <sighs> I won't just give it to you for free, unless we get an alternative. Coral stones can be found near Lincoln City. I was planning to have a look-see. It's a shame I got injured today. I can't even lift a paintbrush. I'll be in trouble if I encounter any danger. All right, what do you want? I saw how you fought, quick and precise. That final strike was unlike anything I've seen before. If you could be my bodyguard. What? Mm-hmm. Protect me on our journey together. If we find an alternative, I'll happily give you what's in my hand right now. <sighs> Don't worry, I can wait. Consider this a private commission from yours truly. The door is over there. This mission is too important, so... I have no choice but to play along for now. All right, I'll do it. But don't push your luck. Great, I'll let you know the time and place. My safety is in your hands.
Due to the frequent appearances of wanderers, property values surrounding Imperial Ring District 23 have plummeted. Don't worry, I'll let you know the results as soon as we get them. But we did stumble upon something new at the abandoned research base. Interested? No, 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 a stele. It's got all these weird patterns and symbols. They found it in the area we've been keeping an eye on. Who knows? Sadly, part of it blown up. Nero mentioned something about it. What is that? It sounds pretty loud over there. Is something happening? Got it. Switching to the emergency comms channel. Stay on your toes. We are approaching Universum Station. Please get ready to exit the train. Passengers should use the doors on the left. got a new mission. Go help out your new teammate. Hey, young lady. You can't go there. We didn't expect things to escalate so quickly. I've sent you the rendezvous coordinates. You'll also receive her personal info. No need to bother. We've met before. You know her already? Regardless, her abilities are unique compared to the rest. You need to protect her. She doesn't need protection. not looking good in no hunt zone number seven the alpha team needs to work in pairs our objective is to investigate and send back information prioritize your safety and don't get into unnecessary fights partner rendezvous complete we're entering zone one enter zone three we'll report back when needed how's zone four of hours and there are still no signs of them the signal is getting worse too i can't keep waiting i'll just head in first Here before? Ugh. No matter where I go, my surroundings look exactly the same. Wanderers? If I fight it head on, I'll die. That's for sure. Is 
he comforting the Wanderer? from the other day. It's oh. me! We've met before, I swear! Back at the research base. After we escaped, you asked me to... You asked me to keep our meeting a secret. It's only a sprained ankle. Thank you for your help. I didn't expect us to meet again so soon. And I didn't expect you to be brave enough to come here alone. I didn't have a choice. My partner went missing. The energy fluctuations make it easy to get lost. You should leave now that you hurt your ankle. What about you? Aren't you worried about getting lost? Oh, wait. That's right. You can just poof whenever you want. This forest isn't scary because of the unpredictable Metaflux surges. Many Tenebrae came here seeking the high-grade protocors to sell on the market. But after obtaining them, the hunters were never seen again. Why? This forest is alive. It consumed them. Hearing me won't work. You have guts. I wish you the best of luck. All right, we're not far from the edge of the forest. You'll be able to get to safety from here. Wait, what about you? Why are you here? Take care of yourself. Your. There are many wanderers here. I've already taken care of some of them. It should be safe for you to leave. You're welcome. Yes. I've been thinking. Leaving an injured teammate behind isn't a good idea. It's too dark for you to see.
Signal interference detected. Unable to retrieve information. Identity verification failed. Is my uniform not enough? During the Chrono Rift catastrophe, the first wanderer to be killed was Tezcatli Polka. It happened. Asking if it looks familiar to you at all. You'll see it soon. Keep an eye out for any ruins. This pattern can appear on the Flux Nexus. It's a device that captures Metaflux. It's also the source of the fluctuations here. Our mission will be complete once we find it. Has my identity been confirmed? Forget it. Think of me as a normal hunter who happened to be passing by. Believe me, though, you wouldn't be able to confirm if it's all made up, and I'll be even more suspicious. It doesn't have a set size. It could be mistaken for a stone sculpture. Let's get out of here first. How's your ankle? Curious, is it not? Why do you always happen to be around when I'm in trouble? We've been spotted. Sorry, what were you saying? This way. Scary during combat. Scary? It's a compliment. Xavier, you told me to keep your presence there a secret. You also said you'd explain everything the next time we meet. Shouldn't you be saying something right now? It's a long story. 
liar. Well, since we're on the same team, we have time to figure it out in the future. Oh, wait. You're a normal hunter who just happened to be passing by. Do you need to keep your guard up? You haven't exactly been honest. But now that I think about it, we've faced a few challenges together. Regardless of the secrets you're hiding, we can work together, for now. Something's wrong with the fluctuation ahead. Get ready. Okay. This place used to be a signal station. Wanderer! It hasn't finished. <sighs> the Metaflux is converging on the Wanderer. It's absorbing it. It's an Aeon Worm. It's the most dangerous species of Wanderer. The absorbed Metaflux particles are being used to reconstruct it. Is this the Flux Nexus you mentioned before? A stone sculpture. Only a specific Evol will be able to undo the lock on it. Try it. Can this even be opened with my evil? Sense its energy and use your evil to create the same fluctuations. other protocols. They're gone. We were just in time. However, the energy fluctuations prove that someone wants to resurrect the Aeon Worm. If a wanderer like that entered Blinkon, the consequences would be unimaginable. And there may be more than one flux nexus in this forest. heard something. The protofield has changed. The forest is waking up. this. Lord just keeps showing up. Hold on. We're safe now. Thank you. The Wanderers were headed straight for us. It must be because of this protocor. Let me check it. Why is it... It's been modified. Clearly the work of Anakinus. Anakinus? An organization stationed in the N-109 zone. Modifying protocols is their most infamous achievement. Let the Hunters Association handle it. They know what to do. Aren't you coming back with me? The moon is out now. It's much brighter than before. So this time, you won't get lost.
Excuse me, sir. Could we have a short interview with you? Sorry, I'm not interested. Why did you become a hunter? Is it a dream of yours? No, I don't really have dreams. Are you doing it for your family? It must be tough at your age. No. Also, I'm the only person in my family. That's rough. Cut this out. Let's do another take. Recently, there have been complaints of hunters destroying public facilities under the pretense of eliminating wanderers. I'm sorry, my mission partner is waiting for me. I need to get to work. You have already formed quite the impression of me. Looks like everyone's here. Come on over. We've been observing the fluctuations from last night. We also have the results from the protocore data you sent back. This is the protocore you sent this morning. I'm sure you've noticed it's been modified. Getting along, I see. The blue line is the protocore's original protocurve. The red one shows it's been modified. We initially wanted to analyze the protocurve to determine the protocore's origin, but after searching the system database three times, none of the data matched up. Believe it or not, we've never seen anything like it. It's possible there's a protocore even the Association isn't aware of. It also might serve another purpose. It's a gift from Anakinus. Obviously, they know more about this protocore than we do. We need to obtain more samples to get more information about this unknown protocore. In order to do that, we'll have to use her evil? You know what her evil can do. It'd be good if she's willing to help us. Since Anakinus is involved, it'll be dangerous. Risks are par for the course. If you help, we'll provide you full support and protection. You'll have a partner to assist you as well. Speak. The benefits a protocore provides are certainly tempting for groups like Anakinus. But the exact goal Anakinus wants to achieve by modifying protocores is still unknown. We speculate it's not about money, given Silas's track record. He's the leader of Anakinus. Yes, but the methods used to modify them were crude. The potential damage they could have caused was minor at best. This time it's different. The energy shown in that abnormal protocurve is beyond our current understanding of protocores. Finding unknown protocores isn't something that can be done overnight. Today was just a small glimpse of what the overall mission would look like. Think about it. You worked hard last night. Take the next two days off.
you need to decide. Whether or not you'll help the Hunters Association find those protocors. I don't know a lot about it. I just know its name. If you want, you can call it a protocor nexus, Fluxstone, or Terra Stella if you like. My advice is that you don't join at all. Really? So I'm just a tool. Regardless of what you think, Unicorns has a lot of ways to get things done. Your evil might not be their only option. Don't stress about it. You might enter a world that's beyond your wildest imagination. I should have known I couldn't scare you away. Maybe I'm here to convince you to live with no regrets. Anything involving Anakinus is complicated. Who knows if the Hunters Association will refuse to tell you about the dangers that lie ahead. I was worried you wouldn't give it much thought and agree right away, and choose someone else to be your partner. I see. If you do get involved in the end, then... Could you choose me as your partner? Grandma, I'm home! Ah, sweetie! You haven't been visiting often since you became a hunter. Did you miss me? Of course. Oh, something smells good. Is it roast pork? Oh, I've learned how to cook a new dish. Would you like to try it? What happened to the pipsqueak who wouldn't even pour me a glass of water? Work has changed you. I should have talked you into becoming a hunter sooner. Caleb? I thought I wouldn't see you until tomorrow at least. What's wrong with coming home early to spend some time with you and Gran? Wash your hands. Let's eat. How's your health, Grandma? Still getting headaches? Oh, it's normal for people at my age to get them. I'm already used to it. I'll be fine, as long as I take my medication. But didn't the doctor say you should be hospitalized for observation? Are you sure the meds will be enough? Oh, I just got out of the hospital. It's too crowded and noisy, and that won't help with my migraines. Already a worrywart? You can rely on me to handle the family stuff. I've submitted an application form for a long-term care ward. It's safe, quiet, everything's been taken care of. Wait, when did this happen? And why didn't you tell me? <laughs> oh, Caleb, a decisive man as always. I didn't know about this either. If I need to stay in a hospital, you should visit me, all right? You can talk with Zane, have lunch with him too, perhaps. Well, he's really busy, so... Even the world's busiest guy has to eat. I haven't seen him in a long time. We should invite him over for dinner, right? And we can kidnap him if he refuses. Here's a message from... There have been many explosions recently throughout Lincoln City. The Hunters Association has concluded these incidents are connected to wanderers. So far, 22 have been wounded. With no casualties, we advise all citizens to be careful when outside. 
Explosions, huh? Hey, Pipsqueak, have there been a lot of active wanderers lately? Kind of, but it's fine. Lincoln has us. The deep space hunters of today know what they're doing. Well, even so, you shouldn't push yourself too hard, my dear. And be sure to be careful during your missions. I know, but I'll be fine, Grandma. My evil works well against wanderers. Besides, missions are often done in pairs. If... If we get hurt, we have backup. Even if that's true, your safety is always the number one priority in whatever mission you take. Your evil is great, I'm not arguing that, but who's to say it'll protect you all the time? Huh? There are wanderers in the neighborhood? Weird. I need to check it out. Grandma, Caleb, something's going on outside. I'm gonna take a look. Be back soon, promise. Hey, wait up. I'm coming with you. Caleb, what kind of hunter lets their childhood friend tag along to work with them? I'm not tagging along with you, Pipsqueak. Just heading to the store for some vinegar and whatnot. All right, then. Well, we're just about to turn the corner. Go to the store and pick up your vinegar. Oh, and another thing. Better not walk out and start following me when my back is turned. Yeah, yeah, secret mission, blah, blah, blah. Can't let unauthorized personnel in on the details. Hurry up and go already. Also, I want some snacks. And fruit. Take all the time you need. <laughs> I don't sense any fluctuations. I'll just walk around for a bit. I see you're actually smart. Too bad. I don't have time to play around. Why are you staring off into space? Mission's over. Did you find any big bad wanderers? Uh, the fluctuations disappeared. Probably a false alarm. A false alarm. Uh, Caleb, what are you- If it really was, then what's this? Oh, uh, I was petting a cat Got and... scratched by another stray cat, huh? I think maybe I should go find that cat so I can avenge you. Caleb, don't. Come on. Grandma's waiting for us back at home. Caleb, I was telling the truth. It was just an accident. You and Grandma have enough to deal with. I understand you want to hide it from Gran. We've caused her enough trouble since she brought us up together. Now that she's older, it wouldn't be a good idea to make her anxious. But why do you have to hide it from me? Can't you trust me now that we're all grown up? I don't want you worrying about me. It's not often you get to come home these days, so ruining the mood is the last thing I want to do. Also, I'm a grown-up now. I need to be the one making sure I stay safe. You can't protect me forever. <sighs> Why is that a problem? If not me, who could you possibly turn to if... <sighs> What's wrong? You wouldn't understand even if I told you, Pipsqueak. Forget it. Hmm. We've been outside for too long. Grand's gonna be worried. 
You're doing it again. Go inside by yourself. I'm not your sidekick. Fine. But uh, hide the blood on your sleeve before heading inside. Since you're a grown-up now, I won't cover for you this time. After an injection of protocor energy, the success rate of clinical treatments dramatically improves. In other news, in recent months, the number of wanderers in Lincoln has increased due to the fluctuations of Metaflux. Metaflux-related explosions have currently left 35 people wounded with two casualties in Bloomshore District. We advise all citizens to be careful. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought you were out on a mission again. Yeah, I'll clock out soon. I just finished reading these reports. I'll turn them in in a second. You're working so hard. Handling all these missions and investigating Metaflux incidents? I refuse to believe what happened to me was just an accident. I'm worried about you. How about... We grab something to eat. My treat. Captain, I'll send you the report soon. Thank you. I just got one about a protocol analysis. Who sent it? Oh, yes. Sorry about that. That was uh, me. You okay? Uh, I bet you haven't gotten enough sleep. Rest. And don't be too hard on yourself. I'm fine, Tara. Besides, I wouldn't dare fall asleep when... Hi there. Just calling to remind you, you have an appointment today. Dr. Grayson? You had a transapical metaflux ablation last month, right? Dr. Zane has your medical report, but you'll need to get an eval cardiac examination first. Okay. Zane, he'll be worried if I don't go. Captain, I Take care of your health first. Then, you'll have the energy to do other things. These are the results of your medical examination. Everything is ready for you. You can visit your doctor now. Hello, um, my doctor is Dr. Zane. Is he available right now? Follow me. Because of the recent wanderer attacks, Dr. Zane has been working overtime. Emergency operation in OR3. Call Grayson, stat. On it. Patient is elderly male. Prepare the pump for cardiopulmonary bypass. Yes, of course. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. He's just very busy right now. Can you wait here for a bit if you're not in a hurry? It's fine. The operation is more important. Thank you. Leading expert in the study of protocor syndrome, appointed chief surgeon. Zane must be working overtime right now because more wanderers are attacking people. Oh, our shift's finally over. Do you want to get some hot pot? Oh, can't. 
I promised my granny we'd have dinner together later. <sighs> Grandma. Grandma. Caleb. If only we could have dinner together like before. <sighs> Why the long face, Pipsqueak? I'm just going to Aerospace Academy. Shouldn't you be happy? But it's all the way in Skyhaven. What if I suddenly crave your braised chicken wings? Oh, don't be too sad. He'll be back for the holidays. And when he is, I'll make him cook for you every day. Which means there's a reward for being your free personal chef. What is it? A send-off gift? Who says Don't I got think you I haven't noticed you being all sneaky these past few days. I know what you've been doing. Caleb, that's cheating. You can't just use your evil to take it. <laughs> I knew it'd be in a style you really like. Won't you put it on for me? No way. Don't you have hands? No, I don't. Hurry, the train is about to leave. If I see it's not with you next time, you'll be sorry. <sighs> Grandma. Caleb. I'm in... Zane's office? Sorry, Zane. I must have fallen asleep while waiting for you. You do realize it is 11 p.m., right? I had to move you because you wouldn't wake up after three attempts. I've been busy with missions. I do believe that there is a follow-up plan listed on your discharge summary. I suppose you didn't notice. I... I'm fine. My health is better than before. You should tell your doctor the truth. When was the last time you slept? Well, I've had some trouble sleeping. Visit the Neurology and Sleep Center before you leave. It can help. Here's your medical report. After the explosion, your cardiac function index significantly increased. It's most likely a result of the metaflux. At least three months of rest and observation are required, but your circumstances call for me to make an exception. Seeing your current state, I regret discharging you early. I just want to know why the explosion had to happen. Take it. <laughs> what is this? Your grandmother asked that I give it to you. However, whether or not now is a good time. In any case, perhaps this has the answers you seek. A letter? What else did Grandma say when she left the box with you? Just to give it to you. Now you have everything you need. Go home and rest. Doctor's orders. Wait, something's not right. You're imagining things. Off you go now. Never mind, I'll see you off myself. Wait for me outside. situation at hand. Is Oxo Hospital's flux stabilizer broken or something? How did a wanderer manage to get in? Uh, your hand. Your evil is... Do 
you need help? Keep your distance. Zane, you... Zane doesn't want to talk about it. I shouldn't pry. Take it with you. Still, if this is a super important thing, why didn't Grandma give it to me sooner? I guess I'll never be able to ask her now. I'm going home. You don't need to come with me. I want to be alone for a while. Diseases and accidents are inevitable. Some leave this world whether they want to or not. <sighs> Don't stay trapped in the same place. Wait, are you trying to make me feel better? If it comforts you, even for a moment, then... Yes, I am. Your condition is serious. No more delaying treatment. <sighs> the time has come. The heavens have been more than kind to someone like me. <sighs> Do you remember what you promised us? If the worst case scenario happens, please take care of her on my behalf. You know, by helping her, you help yourself. Even so, it shouldn't have come to this. something happen. I'm listening. <sighs> it certainly is a strange protocol fragment. After reviewing your condition, I've tried to find similar cases. But as far as I'm aware, you're the only one. <sighs> it's only been six months since she passed. Regardless, aside from its name, I don't know much about it. The fragment in your heart has been there for a long time. 
Perhaps there is someone who can provide us with information. Do you remember Dr. Noah? Dr. Noah is currently doing a personal research project in Snowcrest. If you want to meet him, I can help you get in touch. However, the weather in that area has been quite unpredictable as of late. The train to Snowcrest is often unavailable. I suggest visiting him in two weeks. an anti-workaholic mechanism in the watch. Have fun on your vacation! Ladies and gentlemen, we regret to inform you that the next train to Snowcrest has been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. We still don't know if the train has been cancelled because of the weather, or for another reason. For your safety, please wait. One cheesecake and one croissant, please. Thank you. There's been a new development in Dr. Noah's research. He asked me to visit him a week ago. He's not as young as he used to be and can't always do things alone anymore. I help him whenever I'm not too busy with work. Would you like to eat something together? Sir, the two lattes you ordered are ready. Here are to go. Did I say we met by chance? What are you thinking about? Maybe you'll get your answers when we arrive in Snowcrest. The protocore energy in your heart has always been stable. It can form an invisible shield to protect your heart when you're attacked. You also haven't become as weak as other patients with protocor syndrome. In other words, it's a power made just for you. You won't have to worry about it anytime soon. You'll live for a long time, long enough to find out the truth. that the train to Snowcrest will be delayed until 11.30 a.m. tomorrow. We apologize for the inconvenience. I'm not surprised. We'll have to spend the night in a hotel near the station.
Let's get going. Heard Wanderer showed up in the dispatch center. That sucks. I wanted to see the Aurora and Snowcrest. Are we not leaving? Thanks a bunch. The dispatch center was quite crowded. Lincoln hunters like yourself have more experience in evacuating people and preparing for battle. The magnetic field here is unique. Wanderers usually hang around the snowfield and mountains. They only started appearing in crowded places recently. It's probably because... Uh, <laughs> Judging from the scale of the damage at the dispatch center, no trains will be leaving from today onward. You guys are headed for Snowcrest, right? If you'd like, we can lend you a transport vehicle. It'll be bumpy, but it can traverse the snowy terrain. It's parked right outside the train station. Come with me. What do you think? It's a specialty here. Treat it like a tourist experience. It's up to you now. My team is leaving. See ya! Get on. Not all of my trips were accompanied by medical staff. I've ridden these sleighs a few times. You're on the deluxe snow dog. The auto driving system has been fully upgraded. Please select one of the following to start your adventure. Sightseeing, full speed ahead, children friendly. Shall we get going? He said he's busy at the moment and can't pick us up in person, but... He's arranged our pickup ride. I almost forgot how clingy he is. You've gained weight, Pi. He is Dr. Noah's pickup ride. Pi. He loves food, but not the person who bought it. When Dr. Noah adopted him, he ate six pies in one go. Attack. Pi is very special. He's as intelligent as a nine-year-old child. Don't be fooled by his cute, innocent appearance. 
you only get one can of snacks per day. Go on now. There, there. The pain is gone now. Zane, what are you waiting for? Help me. One second. Are there other escapees? No. I messed up my yard again. Does the antagonist no longer work? Its effectiveness was shortened by a week. It seems the metaflux around this area is increasing again. Oh, hello. Long time no see. Come on in. It'll be warmer inside. How's the fish? It's not much, but I caught it myself. Dr. Noah is very old, so his taste buds don't work anymore. So your grandmother told you everything. I don't know why or how the process was done, but in regards to the protocore, even a minimally invasive surgery can leave behind traces. If I had to guess, it might be your innate strength. There are countless, seemingly impossible hypotheses behind every scientific conclusion. Before the Evol gene emerged, no one believed they could wield the power of nature. What were they trying to prove? <laughs> Why do you think people want to go inside the deep space tunnel? Some things are attractive by simply existing. Unraveling the unknown is a purpose in and of itself. Some are willing to do anything to achieve their goals. So, don't let anyone know about your ether core. Ether was originally something philosophers came up with. The fifth element, so to speak. No one can prove or disprove Ether exists. Maybe that's the reason your grandmother called it Ether. A mysterious energy that surpasses the other protocors. Anyone who knows about it will desire it. Don't worry about it too much. They shouldn't be able to find you anytime soon. The amount of energy in your heart right now is far less than what the experimental data shows. It's possible an accident occurred in the final experiment, which reduced the Aether Core's power. I'm just guessing. This is beyond my field of expertise. Ah. <sighs> To better understand your heart's condition, I tried to contact those researchers privately, but most had either died or disappeared. It'd be hard to find any of them today. Uh, I do recall your grandmother mentioning one had run away to, uh, N109 zone. They joined on a kindness. Their fellow researchers started dying or disappearing soon after that. Huh. 
I don't know. I know very little about your grandmother. But not everyone is lucky enough to do what's right in the beginning. We can only hope we'd have the chance to turn it into something we won't regret. Maybe this is the choice she made. Will there really be one tonight? The weather forecast predicted heavy snowfall with cloudy skies, and the KP index is low. It's unlikely we'll see an aurora. Then why did you... When visiting for the first time, an aurora is required to make the trip worthwhile. Look, the snow has stopped. Only at the very end will someone know if there is a watershed moment. Until the very end. Yet, Grandma and those researchers, they... But there are people who persist until the very end, only to be defeated. I meant the Aurora. Uh, same. What's that over there? Mount Eternal. Oh. I remember. It had an anomalous protofield a few years back. Dr. Noah chose to live here in the Arctic. For your research project, right? Not necessarily. <sighs> My friend sacrificed himself during the protofield anomaly that took place here. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Is there more to his sacrifice? Like a secret? It was an accident. It's already in the past. <sighs> Do you think the pain caused by death can truly be forgotten with time? It cannot. Time can't heal everything, nor can someone simply forget the pain. However, people can become accustomed to sorrow. <sighs> But time has helped you and Dr. Noah find things worth living for, hasn't it? The Aurora. You're right. An Aurora is required to make an Arctic trip worthwhile. It's a shame we can only enjoy it for a few moments. If you're sad, let this stay behind to appreciate the Aurora in your place. Is that snowman supposed to be me? Are you going to stay in Snowcrest for a while longer? Mm. Well, I'll leave this with you then. Will the snowman remind you of me? No. However, when I do think of you, I'll just call. To give me more doctor's orders? You're a very dedicated physician. After you leave here and return home, you'll likely be quite busy. Yeah. Busy learning about the secrets of the Aether Core and Onikinus. Let's hope that both of us can find the truth we seek. Good night. Wait. Here. 
These documents contain information about the energy in your heart and its connection to the ether core. If they're leaked, you might become Onokinus's next target. Perhaps they don't want anyone else to get their hands on it, as they try to obtain one for themselves. Or there are ether cores already in their possession, and they're currently trying to keep it secret. What is it? I was only speculating. It took a lot of effort to get here. Why not stay for a few more days? <laughs> Great. I'll hold you to it. I called a friend. He'll take you to the train station in a bit. Hi. All set? Mm-hmm. It's freezing. Please go back inside. Pi will be my guide. Stay safe. What? Did you think I was joking when I said I was here on business? I will. Sorry, no relevant data entries can be found. Please use another database and try again. Fifty-one relevant data entries found. How is Snowcrest? Did you have fun? <gasps> you actually remembered! I noticed you were looking into the N109 zone. Got a new mission already? That's a place even veteran hunters won't touch. Shouldn't Captain Jenna be extra prepared before heading in? But I heard the people in the N109 zone are too busy cleaning up their own mess. They 
won't be causing trouble anytime soon. About a month ago, not long after our last mission ended, there was quite a spectacle in the N109 zone. Numerous deals were being made on the black market. A whole bunch of protocors were all cleaned out without a trace. And you know how the black market runs. Weapon augmentations, human experiments, medical research. They rely on protocors. No one knows, but according to the rumors... It's Lumiere. Nero, when did you get in here? Yeah, aside from him, nobody can just go in and out of the N109 zone. D don't you know who he is? He's a mysterious hunter who appeared during the disaster 14 years ago. He was the first person to successfully kill a wanderer. The Wanderer was really stunning. I mean, formidable. It's known as a... Ninety-nine point nine percent sure. I heard that after he left the black market, he was on one of N109 zone skyscrapers, destroying protocors like he was setting off fireworks. Only he would be bold enough to provoke everyone in the N109 zone. It sucks that Lumiere's whereabouts are always shrouded in mystery. If we found him, wouldn't places like the N109 zone be under our control? Dear passengers, this is the last train heading to the Lincoln Botanical Garden for the day. If His you wish to visit the Lincoln known. Botanical Garden, please it board this train. Sense. It's hard to find someone after they disappear for years. Oh, save here? Oh no! That was close. You. Don't get the wrong idea. I just... <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is the last train of the huh. day. Passengers who wish to now depart, I think about please it. be aware. I haven't seen Xavier in over a month. A lot of things have happened since then. Is there something outside? Uh, no. I never thought I'd bump into you on the subway. Same. Now I'm worried about what will happen next. Hmm. Please don't say we're about to find ourselves in some crisis. You won't, right? Sorry, but there is a crisis. I'm really hungry and all the stores are closed. Maybe it's because wanderers have been more active lately. Anyway... Why are you just going home now? I was thinking about stuff, got distracted, and missed a bunch of trains. Try not to ponder while in dangerous places next time. What? Wait, this train isn't going to eat me alive, is it? Haven't you heard of the urban legend? After midnight, an empty train will appear. Anyone unlucky enough to ride it will be dragged into the depths of the abyss. Huh. It will be midnight in 30 seconds. If we don't get off here, we'll be trapped in the abyss. Do you like telling ghost stories? I take this train all the time. I've never encountered anything out of the ordinary. If something strange does happen, I hope you still have the guts. Speaking of which, why does it feel like we've been on this train for a while? We should have reached the next stop by now. This is West Garden Station. Doors West Garden open Station. On the line. That can't be right. They boarded the train here. <laughs> Something's off, Xavier. Let's get out here and. Don't. <sighs> if you get off the train, you'll be stuck with no way out. That can't be because of a ghost, right? Nope, not a ghost. It's a wanderer. Watch out. Uh, over there. Xavier, the wanderer is hiding in the glass. 
Not that side. Uh, oh no! You okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Was it just my imagination? Again with the West Garden Station. This train is stuck in a loop. A piece of mirror. The train is trapped within an invisible mirror. That wanderer can travel between glass and mirrors. Find it, otherwise the train will keep going in circles forever. But there are so many windows. Where do we start? We just... Don't let it hide. Is the Flux Nexus related to the appearance of Test Hadley Polka? Oh, all the windows are broken. It's just that I wanted us to look for it carefully. I didn't expect you to. What can I say? I was exhausted. But yeah, it wasn't a good plan. It's okay. I also feel responsible. We'll bear the consequences together. Uh, Xavier? He can fall asleep while standing up? Fighting while exhausted and hungry? You're the most dedicated hunter I've seen. It was on the way. I didn't expect to be so exhausted. It was killed by Lumiere 14 years ago, and no others have appeared since? Lumiere? His name keeps showing up. Lumiere? Yeah. The database says Tezcatlipoca was a troublesome wanderer that appeared 14 years ago. Lumiere was the one who killed it. And this time, when it appeared, you... Xavier, you're not Lumiere, right? He appeared 14 years ago. Should be in his 40s by now. And rumor has it that he's a Teneb right now. You shouldn't believe everything you hear, especially when someone like him is involved. And I was kidding. You can't be him. You don't look like someone in his 40s. Why do you need to meet him? I wouldn't say that. I'm just trying my luck. Only one to walk out of the N109 zone unscathed. Wiped out three important factions in the N109 zone overnight? <laughs> you believe that? I'm just curious. If he can waltz into a dangerous place like the N109 zone and leave without a scratch, he must know a lot. Even if he's in the know, he might not remember much if he has a bad memory. But the more important thing here is, are you interested in him or the N109 zone? I'm... Did you forget what Captain Jenna said? If we want to investigate the modified protocol, we need to look into Anakinus and the N109 zone. The mission doesn't require you to go there. I wasn't planning to. I thought I'd take a quick peek. <laughs> really? I'm well aware it's an area you can't just visit because you feel like it. It's a dangerous place. One mistake and you forfeit your life, if you really want to go. Then you either have to have strength, or you have to blend in. Care to explain? It's like a melting pot. Everyone knows where people's loyalties lie, so they only acknowledge their allies. If you can't use brute force, blending in is the easiest way. But it's also quite the challenge. How do you know all this? This stuff isn't top secret. One just needs to dig a little. Yet, no one said anything about it to me before. That's enough gossiping for today. This is my house. You should head home too. The sooner the better. 
Um, actually, I live here. In this building. Never would have expected this. Savior lives on the floor above me. It's not surprising. A lot of hunters live around here. But the fact that we're only separated by a floor is a bit too coincidental. Actually, I moved in over six months ago, so that makes you more suspicious compared to me. Okay, but you know an awful lot about the N109 zone. Are you sure you're not the suspicious one here? Well, what about you? Huh? Is your interest in the N109 zone only related to the modified protocore? I... Okay, yeah, I do want to go. There's something I need to do there. Could you give me some more info? If it's not too much trouble, of course. <laughs> Is that a yes, or...? If you're so curious, we can meet up tomorrow. Really? It's no problem as long as I get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I thought you'd be wide awake right now. Great. Well, thanks in advance. Good night. Tomorrow, then. You're here early. <sighs> Orange juice, coffee, or water? Are you thirsty? Ice or no ice? My place is a bit of a mess. You can sit anywhere, though. Do you want some breakfast? Fried eggs and toast? Oh, I'm out of eggs. Are sausages okay? So, are you here to confirm my connection to Lumiere? Or are you here for something in the N109 zone? The protocore we found in the No Hunt zone had a red protocurve. Do you know why? Yes. The modified protocores in the abandoned research base and no hunt zone number seven possess energy derived from an ether core. They aren't for now. The Hunters Association only knows it holds powerful energy, but they don't have the means to analyze it. They won't be making any progress on that front for a while. You didn't tell them either, right? Everyone has secrets, and their reasons for doing things. Regardless, I won't be your enemy, and it appears you have more secrets than me. 
reason you want to investigate the N109 zone is because of your family. Am I wrong? requested to synchronize access privileges. Accept. Synchronizing access privileges. Please wait. Synchronization complete. Your current access privileges are at the highest level. You can use the best training grounds available. Use the S-Rank database and request weapons from Armory 0001 through 0005. <laughs> now do you trust me? They expire in 24 hours. You have 23 hours and 59 minutes remaining. You're welcome. Nothing in this world can be fully explained. Still, I hope you find out the truth. Did you forget something? Oops. don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, you won't have to worry about it now.
You're here? Pull me up. Hurry. Help me get off the floor. You're really nice. You worry about my well-being and even accompany me to lunch. So, did you see anything suspicious? Isn't it awesome? My car installation art. It's one of a kind. Having a bunch of people is the best cover. If anything dangerous shows up, we ditch the car and sprint through the back door. It's like vanishing into thin air. Yeah, it's a long story. But to make a long story short, Someone in the N109 zone wanted me to paint a painting, but I told them no. Well, yeah. They discovered the secret message in my painting, which would lead them to their heart's desire. An illusion? What did you see? Yup. I heard it's kinda rare. It was found near the bottom of the ocean, in a place called Lemuria. That location is brimming with rare treasures. Even a tiny bit of coral can make you feel like you're in a world of dreams. If you grind the coral stone into pigment, you can immerse the viewer in a pretty dream created by the artist. Anyway, guess you're not here because you're concerned about my safety, yeah? Lincoln has become even more dangerous, and now you're talking about entering a labyrinth? Forget about it. A hunter like you just going in there is like a lamb walking into a tiger's den. Wait. Someone's following us. Not sure. But since he's acting all shady, he's definitely not one of my fans. You know, you're a really good hunter. Damn it! How did he manage to slip away again? Who are you? Ugh. It could all be an act, you know. Knocking him down in one fell swoop. Wanna do an encore? I... I'm not a murderer! I'm just a guy trying to get a scoop. A reporter from Weekly Arts. Joe. A second-rate art magazine. They scrape by on tidbits they pry from socialites and artists. 
This hidden camera wasn't cheap, right? Is there anything newsworthy about me to grace your journalism? L listen to me. Whatever you do, please don't hurt me. I, it, it's because of the Collector. Raymond, he's dead. He died last night, drowned in his bathtub. No one knew until the next day. When the butler found him, it was already too late. The police already searched his home and looked through the surveillance tapes. They found nothing. Not even another person walking into his room, but... The picture painted by Raphael had vanished from his collection room. I've heard the rumors. Some say that before he died, he made a bunch of cuts into his arms and legs. His skin looked like a bunch of fish scales. It's awful, if I do say so myself. In the moment a rich guy is dead, the police are quick to cover him. They're scared a secret will be revealed, one that will cost them their jobs. But there's no such thing as a secret that can't be hidden. Uh, Mr. Raphael, are you sure you didn't have a hand in his death? Can your painting actually manipulate people? Even if they did, I wouldn't tell you. Also, you said he died last night. I was in my studio during that time and didn't go anywhere. Anywhere. But I do agree it's a tragedy. Or are you saying you want to ask Raymond himself? No, no, no not at all. I, I don't... I told you everything I know. Can you please let me go this time? Sure, sure. I'll even throw in something extra for you. Tomorrow, I'll be instructing my agent to lodge a complaint about your deplorable stalking behavior to your superiors and cancel our exclusive column interview. I reckon you'll be jobless soon. So, why don't you do me a favor and investigate who's trying to hide all that info you just talked about? You know what sells the most? Paintings of a calm sea. They can get pretty expensive. The more violent and chaotic the ocean, the less people are interested in it. Yup, you got that right. I daydream in my studio all the time. It's kind of hard to remember what the real world's like. Thanks for bringing me out of my dreams today. I'm going home. The art exhibition needs to be held. Once a painting is sold, another should take its place. I still don't have the paint needed to finish the piece I'm working on. Don't you remember our deal? I saw how you fought, quick and precise. That final strike was unlike anything I've seen before. If you could be my bodyguard. Mm-hmm. Protect me on our journey together. If we find an alternative, I'll happily give you what's in my hand right now. That look. You forgot, huh? Don't worry. I wrote down everything. We'll be fine. Probably.
I have an idea on how we can sneak into the N109 zone. You said it yourself. When you see the big picture, you need to use some bait. Why not come up with a master plan? Become the best bait for Anakinus. To be their target, you must have something they want, like info or something. You can decide whether to take the risk or not. Maybe a small opening is all it will take to get them to expose themselves. I can lead you there. Trade intel for intel. Gamble to make gambles with higher stakes. But whether or not you can play the game is up to you. It's just a suggestion. The choice is yours. If you want to do it, meet me tomorrow by the docks at White Sand Bay. Ah, good to see you again, Miss Hunter. No reason to be so formal. Call me Thomas. Raphael does it. I knew you'd show up. I'm not the kind of person to just forget. You two get along well. I'm glad Raphael has a reliable friend such as yourself. Stop treating her like she's my babysitter. Hold on. Didn't you ask me for a boat so you could go on a date? I'd say the wait was worth it. With winds at about 10 miles per hour and no big waves, it's a good day to set sail. Since heading out to sea is a daunting task, shouldn't we... use something a little more advanced? Like a speedboat? We're always cooped up in the house painting and stuff. Let's take this chance to exercise. We're in the same boat now. It's time to tell me what's next. Don't overthink it. You're just gonna do what you normally do. Fight. That's Hat Island. It's having unusual energy fluctuations, and a weird wanderer appeared. You're interested in wanderers? Their protocors contain an extremely rare material. I need to get my hands on it. I'll use it to make paint and create some art, as one does. Really? Protocors can be used for painting? I'm not a three-year-old. Weird. The island is literally right there, but we've been rowing for 30 minutes and still no signs of land. Are you rowing around in circles? I'm definitely trying to move this boat along, but you keep rowing us back. That explains why we've been going in circles. This oar is just being mean. I'm getting tired of this. Can we ditch the boat and swim instead? Oh, no. Raphael, the waves! They're heading straight for us! Was the weather forecaster slacking off today? Left, left! Hurry! The oh. water's filling the boat! Steady now! You jinxed Don't us! Don't just flail the oar around! I guess we around. really do have to swim oh. to Hat Island! I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh. I think I hired an assassin instead of a bodyguard. Uh, the world is spinning like... Uh... Stop mumbling to yourself. If it weren't for me, we'd still be in the ocean right now. Uh, I'd rather float in the sea than be on land. Everything looks okay. I don't see any wanderers around. Your skills will be useful. Let's go. This island isn't small and we have a full day ahead of us. Uh, you're fine now? Why are you in a hurry? The mountain. We'll start there. Hmm, I don't see any signs of life. I remember visiting this place as a kid while on a field trip. A field trip? What's that? You've never been on one before? Children line up with their bags filled with all sorts of snacks. 
And of course, we wrote a travel log, and... Wow, you were all brave kids to visit places like these. I'm impressed. More than a decade has passed. Change is inevitable. The resonance is weak, and the watch isn't detecting anything. It's possible wanderers aren't involved. Your little watch thing doesn't seem to work that well. Where's the coral stone? Huh? So what? Are you planning to use your blood again? Or like you can use your evil. The coral stone is from this water. If you notice something weird, it might be tainted with the same kind of metaflux. Use your evil to resonate with it. Creating a similar signal might just be good enough to lure them out. Try? Sending out a signal. Got it. <sighs> the fluctuation is faint. I can barely sense it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You could crack open nuts using that much strength. Please don't destroy my last sample. Then... You're not in an arm wrestling match. Let's do this together. Close your eyes. Focus all your senses on your hands. Well, can you feel a warm power surging within you? Everything in this world has a unique, unmatchable frequency. That's why each life is isolated. But your evil allows you to change your frequency. You can resonate with others. If you open your heart, you can establish a connection. And share your power. Really? If you believe. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, I'll try it. Is it... over? I guess, yes? <clears throat> well, that was quite the spectacle. It was your idea. <sighs> if we don't catch any fish, is the bait at fault? All right, I guess I was wrong. Tapping into the depths of someone's evil isn't easy. Uh, something reacted. I did a pretty good job, huh? Don't you think? You're even better than I expected. The road ahead will be difficult. Take this, and keep working hard. I didn't think resonating with the Coral Stone would attract wanderers. If we can't find what I'm looking for, consider it practice. Anyway, let's set up camp for tonight. They came back. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it a wanderer? Even worse, a monster. It's a kitten! It's so cute! Now you're safe. You're not here for the Coral Stone, are you? <sighs> hmm? Why are you over there? It won't eat you. Stay back! Cats are malicious beasts who deceive everyone with their harmless appearances and play with their prey at whim. I don't like them. <sighs> Rather than dislike them, I'd say you're more afraid of them. Uh, isn't that right, Raphael? Nope, I just don't care. I don't care about cats. At all. It's hurt. Look, something's off about its injury. Whoa, stay back. You're not allowed near me after touching that. You have to choose, me or the cat. Uh, uh, it understood what I said? Its wound doesn't look normal. Maybe wanderers are involved. We should check it out. Uh, you know, you don't have to be that observant. We're not gonna disturb the cat's home, right? That little monster is obviously trying to get some affection. Don't waste your time. Look! <sighs> ah, 
A wanderer attacked it. What happened? Don't touch it. Oh! Your hand! Something is coming from the deep. you like my blood a lot more, huh? Sorry to break it to you, but my fire can never be extinguished. How did we end up in the ocean? Raphael! Stay back. Otherwise, I can't guarantee your safety. What about you? What are you doing? <laughs> Not your concern. Raphael. It's settled then. If you don't return, I'll... I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Don't go. You forgot everything, yet you still insist. Then I thought you... <laughs> the line between being kind and being dumb is very thin. A small smart fish swims away while it still can when the big fish are hunting. You're the idiot. The whirlpool was obviously a death trap, but you just swam right into it. <laughs> anyway, thanks. You were the one who pulled me out of the water, right? I thought I heard your voice before I blacked out. That's just my random act of kindness for the day. So, how long do you think this malicious creature will keep an eye on us? <laughs> it's the kitten from before. Now that the wanderer's gone, it should be safe. It'll be cold tonight. It wants a warm place to sleep. <laughs> what a cutie pie. It's moving. Get it away from me. <laughs> well, duh. A cat isn't a log. Come on, pet it. It won't bite. <sighs> you. Your flattery means nothing to me. I don't accept you. If you need to thank someone, thank the silly girl. She's the reason you're even getting a crumb of my attention. <gasps> it... It licked me. No. I... A monster touched me. My hand. It's over. I can't hold a paintbrush now. Not like this. <sighs> so, is there a reason why you don't like cats? Why should I? I dislike them because I do. For humans, it's game over as soon as a cat nuzzles them. Raphael, that means it trusts you and feels grateful. Well... 
Animals that are fond of humans usually have a tragic end. One moment you're cute and cuddly, the next they toss you aside. You're forgotten, left behind. <laughs> Look, it's saying not all humans are like that. And you? Wasn't there something important you forgot about? Are you talking about the coral stones? You're good at remembering trivial things. We'll have more opportunities to get as many of those as we want. Today, we got lucky. Isn't that the protocol from the Deluge Wormlord? I didn't think you'd be able to find it. <laughs> I see that twinkle in your eyes, you know. But this protocore is mine. Here's payment for your services. You actually remembered. The nest. Is this the place we can gather intel from? Don't believe me? Well, real intel is always hidden in the most inconspicuous places. The crazier it seems, the more likely it's true. You must be a regular there. What did you need back in the day? Mummy bandages? With a bit of work, you can get nice poisonous sap. But for a hunter such as yourself, you're better off wearing a disguise before going in. Like what? Like... At least stop flashing your hunter's watch around. Also, it wouldn't hurt to pick up some of the local lingo. <laughs> I'll proceed with caution. It's okay. I'm a generous employer. Since I hired you as my bodyguard, I'll cover for you when it matters. But I must warn you. In places like the Nest, you have to pay a very high price for obscure information. Especially for stuff involving... Mysterious protocors. Ah, we're saved. Let's call it a day, yeah? I hope you can find the right path, Miss Bodyguard. Isaiah's death. I never believed them. You would never attack your own comrades. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a monster now. You don't want to end up like me, right? But sooner or later, you'll be walking down this path as well. Only she can save us. You, of all people, should know that thing is with her i've seen until that day comes no one should even think about getting close to her the same goes for me you're still stubborn huh what's the point i don't need to explain myself to traitors that's how you're describing us have you forgotten about your home? Our home? Xavier, you're the traitor. Stere energy has been depleted. What we're seeing is a faint glimmer emitted from the farthest reaches of the universe, an echo from 300 million years ago. <laughs> Since when was the Nest interested in astronomy? How am I supposed to know? Blame the Deep Space Tunnel. 
We've never been this close to the cosmos before. You always take bounties, but never accept the rewards. I wonder if you have a grudge against them. Isn't gathering personal information your specialty? Besides, it's possible that I'm on your bounty list too. Tomorrow night, it'll be hunting day again. Will you join in on the fun? Not interested. Where is it? Don't say I didn't warn you. Pay attention to wandering eyes. It's right over there. I wish you the best of luck, miss. Follow me. Not yet. When I saw you, I just asked you to follow me without thinking. So you're really going to the N109 zone? I'm sorry, but for places like the N109 zone, there's always a way in. You just need to look. Surviving, or escaping for that matter, is the real challenge. <laughs> the protocol auction. It's to deal with their partners. Yeah. If Anakinus does nothing, those partners won't let them off so easy. That's why they're selling a high-grade protocol at the auction. It will go to the highest bidder. Don't look at it. Mm. This will do. I need to borrow it. Now they won't be able to find us.
Let's go. Or would you like to stay here for a bit? Xavier, you nearly scared me to death. Didn't you promise to use the door like a normal person? What in the... He's not young anymore, so he's a bit slow on the uptake now. Ah, long time no... I mean, welcome to Philo. Right, Xavier mentioned you before. Your colleagues, I'm pretty sure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Now that we're out of sight, you can talk. Did something happen in the no Hunt zone? Are there any unused identities left in the vault? She needs to get into the N109 zone, but lacks a disguise. Didn't you say you still need to think of an escape plan? Laws don't exist in the N109 zone, but knowing the right people can come in handy. If your reputation is good enough, even the ones who want to mess with you will think twice. Ah, I got it now. Got anything in mind? I can customize it to suit your needs. Do you have one known for being disgustingly rich? from the Grand Duchy of Guarans. Born with a diamond spoon, your wealth rivals that of nations. What do you think? Heiress to a mysterious crime syndicate. Last name is... well, we should just use yours to keep your story straight. I'll create a comprehensive profile and put it up on the dark web. I can make it convincing enough to the point where even professionals will have a hard time distinguishing fact from fiction. It won't work if it's not intimidating enough. Hmm. Clothes maketh the man. I just need to find an outfit that matches your status. She can do it herself. What's wrong? <laughs> hmm. I'm just a normal deep space hunter. Close. Also, you're not scary. At least not scary enough. 
you're being very polite. You won't be able to take control of the situation. Anyone who's made a name for themselves in the N109 zone can't be a pushover. As the next leader of a crime syndicate, you should at least act tough. Don't let anyone easily spot your weaknesses. Otherwise, you might end up as a lamb at an auction, swarming with wolves. You'll be killed in the blink of an eye. The arrogant ones always like to look down on people. Your shoulders are stiff. Being too awkward will only make you look suspicious. Relax, but try to maintain a facade of arrogance. Don't say thank you, and don't apologize. The last thing you want is hesitation or doubt in your voice. Remember, you're always right. Return the favor. Are you mixing personal feelings with business? <laughs> All right. One more thing. It's very important. Don't provoke people who have yet to show you their hand. I'm done. Do you think this is enough? Sorry, I entered the wrong room. Come back. Here's the family crest. Pretty cool, right? Wear it, and anyone who's in the know will see you're important. It also means whoever approaches you isn't a random person wanting to have a chat. Be careful. And here's the stuff that can make your fake identity more convincing. I hope you won't need to use them. You don't need to be so formal. I never thought I'd actually be able to help you. It's so... As you can see, he's very friendly. today. Wait. It's a secret transmitter. Even if you're somewhere in the N109 zone with no signal, we can still track your location. An inhibitor. Take it before you meet up with anyone. You'll be temporarily immune to 98.7% of neurotoxins. And here. Self-defense. It's not too strong. Just enough to take down an elephant. If you ever run into danger, don't hesitate. It's flowers. Do I need a reason? They just happen to blossom. So, I sincerely hope you'll accept them. It's flawed. So... Were you able to stay calm when you saw her for the first time? <laughs> We're just letting her go into the N109 zone? Are you okay with that? It will be safer compared to Lincoln City in a few days. Yeah, we can use that time to take care of the stuff lurking in the shadows. But I need to ask, do you really not care about our non-intervention principle anymore? Some already stopped caring about it.
Do you know how long we've been here? All those faces in the backtrackers, I can't remember them. Don't you have the feeling that people's memories of us are also becoming fuzzier? Especially in recent years, I agree that sticking to the non-intervention principle is pointless. Especially for us whose presence here was always a mistake. And mistakes are bound to be corrected sooner or later. Maybe we're slowly being erased as we speak. How's Trace back to? It can send out simple signals, but the positioning system still needs some work. Is there really someone on the other side of the deep space tunnel who can respond to us? <laughs> you will return in one piece. I'll make sure of it. Having Evol doesn't make you invincible. And you're... This isn't Phylos. And we... You know... Aren't truly immortal? Our kind, I mean. Perhaps they don't want anyone else to get their hands on it, as they try to obtain one for themselves. Or there are ether cores already in their possession. That's why they're selling a high-grade protocore at the auction. It will go to the highest bidder. Laws don't exist in the N109 zone, but knowing the right people can come in handy. If your reputation is good enough, even the ones who want to mess with you will think twice. Why not come up with a master plan? Become the best bait for Anakinus. Maybe a small opening is all it will take to get them to expose themselves. Hello? Why? Are we supposed to meet up at 11? Where's Raphael? It's hunting day. There are more people here than last night. Hopefully everything will go according to plan. Ultra dangerous protocols, nothing illegal, and lots more in stock. Are you interested, miss? I haven't seen you before. I'll give you a discount. When Narcissus, and you've got yourself a deal. Where did you get them? Why don't we start with- Don't you think it's a little weird to do business with newcomers? If I'm the newcomer, then you must be the veteran? You're today's shining star. The little secrets I carry aren't worth the trouble. Got your bait ready? Yeah, I'll play their game and let myself be taken into the N109 zone. <sighs> Which means we need to cast the line. Should be easy enough. Here. <sighs> What's this? <sighs> Write your bargaining chip on it. Waiter. Who's he going to tell? Doesn't matter. If they're interested, they're in. Now we wait for the fish to bite. How long? Not long. The nest lives up to its name, you know. It's an underground intelligence network that's known to match supply and demand. Even normal info would have passed through three layers by now. And what's this? It's part of the process. Drink it, and you officially have a deal. It's black. <laughs> Think about it first. A black glass means you'll pay a high price. If it doesn't go smoothly, you'll be the payment instead. <sighs> Being the payment is better than staying in the same place and doing nothing. Since you've made up your mind, I won't stop you. I hope you find the answers you seek.
so far, everything looks normal. Gloomy air. I guess it's to be expected. So many people are after him. Ugh. Hey! Move aside! You... It's about to start! Wait, it's probably better if I stay low-key. More people are here. They're surprisingly calm. There's a price to pay when a wish is granted. Will you be the hunter or the hunted tonight? It's starting. Hunting day will now commence. It's that eye again. Is it here for me? Let's no, something's off. I should hide for now. Now. There she is. This is the prey. It's coming. It worked. Caesar is a free neurotoxin. If you're smart, you won't move. The more enticing the bait, the more dangerous things can get. Most are clueless to it. Now's not the time to celebrate. The big fish we want hasn't fallen for it yet. Did you bring the stuff I requested? You're fine with handing over a fresh catch just like that? <sighs> Do you really think they can handle the prey I caught? Alpha P0159's light shines through the deep space tunnel, illuminating Link on Tower's pinnacle. The closest we've been to it in the last 4.6 billion years. This galaxy's name is derived from the Greek word philo. It is the most exquisite gem in deep space. Philos. Humanity remains shackled to time. Fortunately, there are other lives in this boundless, starry sea. Tonight's weather, clear skies with winds around 7 miles an hour. Everything is serene inside the deep space tunnel. Good night, Lincoln City. May you rest in the Milky Way's embrace, drifting in long and happy dreams. <laughs>